Hi friends, welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Today I am with Dr. R. Suryanarana Shetty. Uh, we have just returned from London because he stays at uh, United Kingdom. Uh, sir, mm. I would like to mm. share your uh, experience, especially mm. in the medical field, mm. to our audience. Mm. Yeah. Uh, welcome to this show, sir. Mm. Namaskar. Sir. Namaskar. Yeah, Namaskar. Sir, yeah. when did you start as a junior doctor in Royal Holdham Hospital? Yeah. See, first I went to United Kingdom in 1971. Okay. And then I briefly worked in uh, Bradford. Uh, mm. My brother Rajaratna City was there. And those days, because our... Uh, uh, the medical college was approved by General Medical Council of UK. Mm. We didn't need to take any exam, nothing. We could walk into the department. Okay. Afterwards, I worked for about two years in Sheffield. Then I moved into Royal Oldham Hospital after doing my uh, tropical medicine course and uh, diploma in Liverpool University. Mm -hmm. So, I started my life in 1974 okay. in uh, Royal Oldham Hospital. Since then, uh, as a junior doctor, and uh, one thing uh, I noticed when I went to Royal Oldham Hospital, this is the only department in the country who took young uh, <coughs> uh, uh, senior citizens. That means, okay, uh, in female, 60 years and above, and in male, hmm. uh, 65 and above. In other hospitals, as I know, in hmm. UK, they took 70, 75, 80, 85 and all. So what I found, because mm. we are getting younger age retired people, I really uh, getting experience like general medicine. And also, I was seeing <coughs> multiple pathologies rather than mm. uh, single pathology, like in adults. Okay. Yeah? Okay, okay, so okay. I took a <coughs> lot of interest and uh, developed my interest mm -hmm. uh, in that field. So, <coughs> really, as a junior doctor, I started, then I, I was promoted as a senior uh, registrar, mm. and uh, then eventually as a associate specialist, and uh, I stayed, settled there, okay. which definitely helped my family and uh, children's education and all. Okay, okay. What sort of experience you gained over there? Uh, see, as I mentioned, uh, multiple in uh, in younger patients we may get single pathology like mm, chest mm. infection or diabetes or heart attack whatever it is whereas with the seniors always what like i mentioned multi pathologies mm. maybe okay. they come with a chest infection or something mm. we had to do the full examination of all the systems in the body mm -hmm. so that uh, gave me much more experience in my life mm. to so that I could uh, examine all the organs in the body okay. and make a note of it and uh, I, I really enjoyed uh, making note of this one and see in a, in medical profession mm. if we diagnose something extra okay. than what they have come to see me it's a credit for I thought it's a, another boost for me to mm. tell the patients that not only you have this one you have the other conditions as well, we will sort out all the before we can send you home. Mm -hmm. So that was really, gave me a lot of experience about okay. my practice. Okay, mm. did you introduce uh, any procedure? Yes. See, what happened when we went from here, uh, pro, we, we, at my uh, time of uh, qualifying, medical profession was, yes, doing a wonderful job and all. For okay. instance, mm. uh, if a patient comes with a heart attack, right, oh, okay. and uh, pulse rate is dropped and blood pressure has dropped, in when before I qualified and went there, we mm. never ever knew about cardiac pacing. Cardiac okay. pacing is a wire we can put through a vein mm. into the right ventricle mm. and uh, assess the electrical activity of the heart, mm. and then uh, add one one or two extra and then take charge of uh, heart function and control from outside. Okay. That was excellent uh, oh. procedure. Oh. But because I wasn't trained at all, oh. I used to take help from the other department like okay, general okay. medicine. So, oh. what was the reason to introduce the procedures? See, because if we don't control the heart rate uh, and uh, heart rate uh, from outside, okay. we, we are not uh, sending the 
enough blood circulation to the other organs mm. so there are chances of other organs failing so that will be a boost for the patient to recover quickly okay, so okay. i had to ask my consultants senior mm. consultants to mm. send me for a tra training yeah. okay good uh, nice to so, hear uh, yeah. about your experience uh, so i went to within hospital which is the cardiothoracic center okay. for the northwest region mm. and uh, under professor bennett Hmm. i he had a uh, catheter clinic on thursdays so i used to go every thursday to learn how to put a this what see initially i used to do from the anticoagulant vein which is where used to hmm. get stuck hmm. there we were really struggling afterwards what i learned there subclavian and external jugular i could go straight hmm. into the right ventricle okay. control and uh, for instance uh, the we could uh, uh, leave the patient 4 uh, to 5 days mm. then we we him off from the or her from the uh, catheter and then the uh, heart will take out its own uh, work and so really success rate of uh, healing and uh, patient getting better was much quicker than Tra traditional professions, uh, professional traditional okay, methods. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did you enjoyed working as a doctor? De definitely. I think I have no regrets working here because mm -hmm. since my younger days, my principle was to help others. So even as a medical student in Bangalore Medical College, and villagers used to come and I used to take them to Victoria Hospital. Then uh, I used to pay their fare, bus fare, and things like that. So. that principle i kept when i went to uk and also the facilities were so good in the health service say now for instance i don't think there is any such facility anywhere in the globe either they should have insurance or they have to have uh, money to pay the private hospitals there we a child born till the child gets adult and uh, terminal say and uh, leave this globe everything was done free and there was no restriction for using the facilities and uh, 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 for instance uh, drug drugs prescription or surgery procedures and all so really that's what i was looking for my in my life mm. to enjoy my profession which <laughs> helped me really because ah. many times Uh, when uh, general we used to get uh, cases from general practitioner it may be some other uh, surgical procedure mm. so i didn't uh, really uh, uh, rang back the general practitioner and say why did you send this it doesn't belong to me and or i used to do the preliminary every examination and go to see the surgeons and transfer the cases to them really okay, okay. so if i my principle was if i save a life which is precious for somebody mm -hmm. so that was my motto and i practiced it till i retired from the health service okay a doctor from holdam mm -hmm. has got recognition from queen victoria too mm -hmm. how was it possible now see what happened uh, this pro, this queen honor system and all in uk is entirely different than mm -hmm. what i know about in india whatever it is okay. so we will never know what is going behind our uh, this one without our knowledge i mean mm -hmm. so they have in the hospital they have seen me from junior doctor as a registrar and then as a associate specialist okay so i was always available 24 hours a day mm -hmm. for the medical problems in mm -hmm. senior citizens so okay. Okay. Every, see you get uh, senior citizens in every department so when they had any medical condition which needed sorting out they used to uh, ring me mm -hmm. so, so many times i had to get up uh, midnight and go though i was not on call or for instance my juniors were worried about uh, cardiac patient which is uh, dropping the blood pressure or pulse okay. so i had to go get up and go and uh, do the procedure and teach them how to do so this this i really enjoyed myself because see my principle was see i have been employed by the national health service and i must mm. do uh, my service and get the patients better and send them home so that really helped me to get better and better and get more knowledge about my medical profession so i always 
See, sometimes I used to do the small procedures myself. You know? Okay, okay. Yeah, the, like uh, temporal artery biopsy, knee injections and uh, 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 arterial blood samples uh, mm. taking and all those things. So, this usually as a physician, not many people fanci fancy to do because they will refer to surgical department, let them do or whatever it is. But my view was, if I do the knee injection, next time when I see the patient in a week or two, patient will be walking without any pain. So oh, that, oh. that used to give me so much satisfaction. Good. And they used to tell me that it is since you have the injection, I can go up and down <laughs> the stairs without any pain. I can do my garden. Yeah, that, what else I want is, okay. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Please enlighten me about your family and your children's education. Yeah. See, in addition to this uh, pacing, ah. I did some more work on, on, on the, uh, the yeah. health service. See, for instance, okay. when a, a patient come with a, kidney failure. See, they come mm. with something else. I found in the mm. blood tests, uh, there is kidney failure as well. These patients need either peritoneal or uh, uh, hemodialysis, mostly peritoneal dialysis. That means we rest the kidney for some time mm. so that it should recover. Then okay, we can. Okay. So when they said, uh, when, they used to, when I used to ring the center, they used to say, first ask the age. I said, mm. whatever the age it is, see, it is a life we must save this patient. Mm. That was my uh, views. So then I started doing the uh, peritoneal dialysis in the intensive, current intensive care unit. I taught all the how to do the peritoneal dialysis to the nursing staff and all. So that was an extra procedure really I thoroughly enjoyed. In addition, what I did uh, was uh, the, 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 um, the, the echocardiograms. See, it happened, we say, say, I applied for, once they've got the machine, the echo machine, I thought uh, uh, I should get tra trained and uh, get, get tra trained and start reporting. Mm -hmm. So, what, what, when, they, when I applied, uh, sadly, sorry. Uh, no problem, mm -hmm. yeah. One of the, they didn't uh, approve for my training and okay. they approved okay. another doctor. Okay. So, I... I didn't regret, so I, uh, eventually that doctor who went for training, he wasn't uh, very keen to do uh, mm. the extra work. Okay. So machine was idling for a year or two, then the uh, medical director asked me, that mm. said, come down, uh, we went to chat to you, and they said, we'll send you for training, would you go? I said, mm. no, because mm. they re refused me first time, I'm not going, <laughs> so I came back. <laughs> So the, then they sent a senior mm. most medical consultant and said, Seti, okay. come and get okay. up. Okay. I will go with you. We will have a, a training and all. So cleverly, he came, we both went to training to Le Leeds first. Okay. And then Newcastle, uh, uh, where there is a pediatric uh, echocardiogram specialist, I went there. Then he quietly withdrew himself and I, I went to America. Uh, Ineham near mm -hmm. uh, Los Angeles for a wee, week for course mm -hmm. and came back and the what happened the machine was mm -hmm. so useful for all the patients in the hospital okay. because sometimes when we are dealing with a heart failure or some like, valve problem leaking valve or something e when they see the patient either in our department or general medical department uh, they, they used to send the referral letter to central, mm. so which take another week or two weeks or three weeks, I don't know when okay, the okay. patient goes. Whereas here, I had a wonderful technician, I, her name was Pam, and she used to ring me and say, Dr. City, there is a referral came from the medical department just uh, five minutes ago, mm. and patient is still here. Uh, what what do you, would you come and uh, have a look at the patient? So I said, Def, definitely. So immediately my uh, I, idea was, if I see and report in my handwriting and send it to a physician, they can start the treatment immediately, hmm. not to patient to wait for a week, two weeks or a month. Okay. So that's like that. I was I thoroughly enjoyed my this one nine to five seven days a week, 365 days in a year, I never said no for mm. medical referral. <laughs> so, in the background, I didn't have the slightest clue what's happening. Uh -huh. So, once uh, on, in a month of October, uh, uh, I had a letter from 
John Major, who was the Prime Minister of England, mm. uh, to my house address and said, uh, ten, it is from 10 Downing Street where the Prime Minister lives. Mm. And uh, my wife Chandra rang me when mm. I was in a medical uh, meeting mm. and said, I have a, uh, we have a letter from 10 Downing Street. I was very surprised. I said jokingly to her, mm. what did I do to deport me from UK? So she <laughs> said, no, it is a good news. And John Major want to refer you to uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, for honoring me for my service to medicine for the elderly people. Oh, so great. really, I, I, it was a good surprise for me. After, in November, I think, and uh, uh, one of the sisters, ward sister, senior most sister, rang me at home and said, did you hear any good news from her? I said, what do you mean, Sheila? She, she was called Sheila Cronley. And I said, no, I didn't. Uh, come on now, d tell me. Uh, d don't, uh, th this one, k keep, uh, hide these things. Then I said, yes, I had a letter from uh, John Major, Prime Minister, and she was very pleased. And I said, what, what, why, how, what made you to trigger off all these things? She said, Dr. City, I have seen you from a junior doctor coming, as a young mm -hmm. doctor coming to our hospital. Now I knew from that time, and now you have become a senior most doctor. And not a cha little change I have seen, you are the same person who can uh, help us 24 hours a day. Not only yes. our department, <laughs> any department, if they need a medical uh, uh, help, you are always ready to get up and come. So that made me, uh, that made her to write to John Major Good. and this is how it happened. No, you were, uh, yeah, I do endorse uh, <laughs> Madam's uh, uh, whatever the words, <laughs> because uh, I have seen you since 15 years, you are like that only. Uh, so, congratulations again for that uh, recognition. Yes, sir, about your family and children. Yeah, see, and uh, I just, uh, my, we have uh, two daughters and a son. I hmm. uh, see, with my only person working in National Health Service and Chandra didn't work there, she looked after the family and she was in charge of their education, their homework, taking, bringing them from school, everything. She never ever used to ring me in the hospital for anything mm. because she <laughs> thought I may be with patient or doing some procedure, okay. whatever it is. Okay, okay. See, that helped me a lot. So, my eldest daughter now, all the three children we educated in London. In, uh, I see, one beauty there, when children are studying, uh, whether you do medicine, mm. engineering, whatever is courses you do, there is no uh, fees, mm. no donation, no fees. Mm. All we had to do is their living expenses like uh, accommodation and food. So that helped me immensely because with my pay, I could educate the children and the eldest become, uh, all the three in London, Eldest uh, did uh, M.E. in Electronic Engineering mm. and then she was working for uh, Ericsson's. Mm. Second uh, is a doctor and she is a dental practitioner in UK. Okay. And son is a, uh, is a phys doctor as well and he is working as a consultant in dental <laughs> medicine in good, UK. Good. So, so I think uh, your story is mm -hmm. uh, actually a role model for many people, especially your living and your sincerity. Uh, friends, I have recorded uh, his interview of Chandana TV in my one of my books, Sadhakara Chandana. Okay. Of course, it's in the second chapter of Sadhakara Chandana book. It mm. was published through Sapna mm. Book House. Mm -hmm. You may get it through www.sapnaonline.com. So, Dr. Okay. Shetty, thank you very much for sharing your views. Thank you. Before we finish, okay. I would like to just mention briefly. Yeah. And uh, after the honor, I was appointed as a uh, magistrate in uh, uh, Oldham. Uh, so on Thursdays I used to sit on the bench. So I think you are the only doctor <laughs> who has become a magistrate. <laughs> I think it's a rare, very rare combination. Yeah, 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 that yeah. was great. Thank yeah. you very much. Sir. Yeah, Thank namaste, you. Namaste. Namaste.